Hello, it is me, and as we can see, after missing Lush Boxing Day, sadly, last year, I might have gone a bit overboard this year, and yeah, we'll probably get into that story later on in this video, but right now, after traveling li probably literally thousands of miles, all my boxes have finally arrived, and I'm super excited to do this unboxing. So without any more further ado, let us get into it, shall we? And I have no idea how to get some of these boxes, so I think I'm just going to reach back and grab... Ooh, well, that one's really, really heavy. Um, I'm going to pause and get a box. Let's do that. Okay, got the box. And it's sadly a little squunched, but everything should hopefully be alright in this box. Now, as you might have noticed... I did not say it's me and my tea because I think we can all rightly assume that if my tea was anywhere near me right now, it would be having 100% chance of packing peanuts falling down into it. So that is why it is not my tea out at this moment. Tea for when I'm done with this video. Okay, so first thing I see on top. Ooh, okay, so first thing I see is the Holly shower. I can't remember. It's not a shower steamer. It's like a shower fizzer. So with these, I've never used them before, but the nice instructions on the website say if you hold it in your hand and let the water hit it, it will start to fizz, and then you just rub it all over your body, and it will smell really, really nice. So that is going farther in. Um, yes, next one. Okay. Next one I find is, I believe this was called Magical Santa or something along those lines. And then he is a big boy. And I think he's in some of the gift sets I purchased, but mm, he kind of has a nice, um, oh, okay. I'm just going to say like a generic kind of lush scent. It's kind of a little bit fruity, a little berry-y. I think there's a bit of strawberry in here. I'm not sure, but he smells super, super nice. Okay, let's see if we can find another bath bowl. Okay, next. We have... My absolute favorite, which is the Butter Bear. Just look at him. He is so adorable in his little hat. And he smells like Butterball, which is one of my favorite bath bombs. So it's a nice, soothing, kind of cocoa-y, shea butter-y um, scented. Yes, and there's the gift box here. So one moment as I try and get it out. I think that's all in this box. Um... One moment, I definitely have to get it out. Okay, finally got out, really wedged in there, and it is this beautiful tin. I absolutely love it. Oh, shoot, what was it called? The Christmas Candy Shop, there we go. So it looks like 29 High Street. I think I'm gonna put um, some of my 29 High Street stuff that I got in the Lush Kitchen in here. And it is just absolutely adorable all the way around. We have reindeer, we have stockings, we have Santa, we have, I believe, a snow fairy up there. Just so dang cute. And let's see, where's top? Where do we open you at? Oh, there we go. Let's use trusty pocket knife and get that tape off so that we can see the goodies that lie within. Alrighty, so zoop, here it is. Mm, smells very candy and there is a lot of stuff in here. You know what? I'll just read it off the bottom. So we have the Magical Santa Bath Bomb. And that was the one that I got a loose one of. Snow Fairy Bath Bomb. Snow Fairy Roll Bubble Bar. Snow Fairy Shower Gel. Candy Cane Reusable Bubble Bar. And the Salted Caramel Lip Scrub. That's going to be very, very nice. And of course, you know what's coming. We have to do it. We just have to. It's mandatory. Are we ready? Let it snow. Woo! What a rush. 
Alrighty, ne next box. Shall we go for this one or this one? I'm going to say this one because it's just right here. Alright, trusty pocket knife. Do your duty. Open this box, please. Do -do -do. And maybe we'll have a bit of story time as I'm getting the peanuts out of the way. So, reason there was no Lush haul last year was the sad fact that I actually had everything. I paid for everything. I even had an email for it. But sadly, I was one of the few people that, um, <laughs> whatever reason, the order went through, but it didn't go through to billing. So the items were not shipped. And I got all my money back, but sadly, I did not have a Boxing Day haul, so hopefully this year we'll make up for it. And this one, just the smell, is making up for it, because in here, there are several, I think there's about three, of the Party Popper Bubble Bars. And they smell fantastic because they are in the Celebrate slash, slash Bubbly slash Bucks Fizz scent, and it's just a wonderful uplifting bright orange scent yes lush doing an orange scent very original but i absolutely love it Ugh. i i hope they bring back like celebrate or bubbly or bucks fizz next year or even this party popper because i just love this scent so so much next ooh, not wrap oh but since they were loose out and about sadly it looks like it's got a nice big old yellow stain there which i'm a bit bummed out about because it is our lovely friend it's christmas dear i'm so happy i missed her last year this year we have her and you can probably see there's one there and there's one there and then there's like one over there but you can't see it but I'm so happy to have my next one. It's so pretty. I love the holly wreath and the little tiny deers right there. That's the thing. I love how Lush is doing less and less packaging. But I really, really wish for things that are really sustainable, they might have like a biodegradable bag or like, I, I don't know, a plant-based something. Something compostable wrapped around it so that things don't get stained or ruined. Um, good thing though, the next knot wrap is all right. I believe this is called, what was it, Winter Solstice? Winter Wonderland? Something like that. It is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to have that as a background in one of my videos. And on this side, it is beautiful acorns, so it is two-sided. I absolutely love that. Okay, next. Woo! Okay, I gotta keep going. Just keep going, going, going. We have some gift sets in here. I'm surprised how much is packed in here. So the first gift set that I see is the, what is it, Celebrate Light. I believe this was actually a Hanukkah gift set. And in here we have the Avo Bath Bath Bomb. So that is a lemongrass bath bomb. And then the Olive Branch Shower Gel, which is a lovely, um, really, really lovely shower gel. I believe the Partridge in a Pear Tree was Olive Branch scent this year. And these are two things that I believe are all year items, but I just picked up the little gift set because it was 50% off. Next up, ooh, there was a sample of Angels on Bear Skin. So that's right there. Next, oh, remember how I said I wish some things were bagged? Well, I've just seen that the soap that I got is right up against the other gift set that I got in here and it is kind of ooey gooey nasty. Ah, there it is. It is the Christmas party soap. So that's what it looks like. It has some swirls in it. Ooh, let's see. And that is, what is that scent? Bergamot, juniper, myrrh, and ylang ylang. That is such an interesting smell. I have really a hard time to describe it. It's kind of like a party punch scent, and but then something really rich underneath. 
But sadly, you are sticky and slimy and a bit gross. Next we have the Golden Wonder gift set, which has been sadly a little ruined. I mean, the products on the inside are good, but the outside is... Ugh. I won't show that, but on the inside we have the Golden Wonder Soap and the Sweet Wild Orange um, Hand Balm. And the Golden Wonder I absolutely love because I think that is also part of the Celebrate family. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think Golden Wonder is part of that scent family. Next, speaking of partridge in a pear tree, we have partridge in a pear tree, although she's a bit worse for wear. Beautiful, sparkly, mm, and smells like what I just said. What did I just say? Olive branch. There we go. So olive branch scent family. Wonderful. Next, candle time. Ooh, you're a bit worse for wear too, but it is the Lord of Misrule. I had to pick him up. Favorite boy right there. And then last bath bomb in here. Snowdrift. Smells like um, Outback Mate, which I absolutely love, love, love. And we know what time it is again. Oh, yes. Oh, and I bet I am covered in bath bomb dust there. Okay, up next. You gotta go quicker now. Because this one is right on cue with the music that you're probably hearing on the background and this is one that i've been trying to pick up for years during the sale i have no idea how i managed it this year um as mcgonagall would probably say sheer dumb luck ah there it is and on the whatever day of christmas this would be what is this it's been what 20 some days of christmas we have it! Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! I finally have one. It is the 12 Days of Christmas gift set. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm not gonna dump all those on me right now. My lap is full of peanuts. Okay. Oops, sorry. I bumped right into you. Yes! Here it is. The 12 Days of Christmas. And in here we have Butter Bear. Gift Horse, Magical Santa, Sweet Pudding, Toby's Magic Cow, Candy Cane, Reasonable Bubble Bar, Party Popper, Elf Shake Shower Gel, Snow Fairy Shower Gel, Santa Jelly, Salted Caramel Lip Scrub, and Snow Bear Soap. Ah, let's let's open it up. Let's see. I don't see you. Where are you? Oop. Sorry. Telephone. Sorry, just a telemarketer, and I swear it just took all my brain cells to figure out how to <laughs> open this box. It had a ribbon on it. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that's what it looked like on the inside. I was going to show you, everybody. I didn't know it was like a proper advent tea calendar where you pop open the doors. But oh my gosh, that is so cool. I might have to do that as a separate video. Let me know what you think. Should I do that as a separate video? Would you like to see that? I think I will. Okay, so I'm gonna put the lid on and save that for another video. And we're going to get into the big boy right here. So again, one moment. So as we can see, sadly, this one got damaged in transit. And so I actually had to open it early. And some of the items were sadly damaged, but Lush was very kind and refunded me for the damaged product. But I should, ooh, try not to knock into you. But, oh my gosh, this box is so, so big. You know what? I'm just going to have to pause again just to get this stuff out. I underestimated how big this is. Again, one moment, please. I wish you could see my lap right now. It is so full of packing peanuts. But here we can see inside. And first up, we have the Snow Dragon gift set, which is beautiful and blue. And inside, it has the Snow Crystal Snow Bath Bomb, which is peppermint and vanilla scented. And then the Snow Dragon Bath Bomb, which has popping candy. And it is a fun um, citrusy scent. So that's that guy right there. I shall put him up there. I love Lush's gift wrap so much that I even purchased some of the, what is it, Lolika paper? So this is the really neat reusable paper. This is um, paper chain, though, and I'm thinking of like cutting it out and making a festive Christmassy paper chain, but it is really nice stuff. It 
you, it's wrinkled, I think you just wet it a little bit and iron it, something like that. So that stuff is really, really cool. Next, somebody that you've already seen, but is sadly covered in bath bomb dust, like seriously, a lot of bath bomb dust from the broken bombs. It is the um, Christmas candy shop. So I'll set that one there. Next, one of the boxes that got sadly um, damaged on the inside is the Lord of Misrule gift set, which is just so cool. And if you're unfamiliar with Lord of Misrule, it is a black pepper, patchouli, and vanilla scent, and it is absolutely divine. So in here is the Lord of Misrule bath bomb, the Labyrinth bubble bar, Lord of Misrule body spray, and Lord of Misrule shower gel. And I shall love that scent forever and a day. Next, another one that was sadly broken, that's where all the bath bomb dust came from, is the Christmas Bath Time Favorites. This is one I've been wanting to pick up for years, and I've nicely rewrapped it, but it was all open and broken, and it was very, very sad. But inside of it is the Crystal Snow Bath Bomb, Moon Bath Bomb, Partridge in a Pear Tree Bath Bomb, Shoot for the Stars, Snow Drift, Snow Fairy, Sweet Pudding, and Twilight Bath Bomb. Twilight was the most broken of all of them. But let's see if we can get it to focus. There's all the fabulous bath bombs. I think it was eight total. And that is absolutely fantastic. Next is the Christmas Party gift set. And inside here which is also a knot wrap, which I love, is the Dragon's Egg Bath Bomb, Gift Horse Bath Bomb, Shoot for the Stars Bath Bomb, Snowman Finger Puppet Bath Bomb, Party Popper Bubble Bar, Candy Cane Reusable Bubble Bar, and there's also Games, Jokes, and Christmas Crowns, which is so fantastic. Next, we have the last one, which is behind me, so one moment, please. Okay, here it is. Here's the top, and this one smells divine because of this one. I was sad that I missed it last year, but I'm happy that I have it this year. And it is the cinnamon roll, which is almost a spicy -er version of um, Blue Skies and Fluffy Clouds because it has cinnamon and patchouli in it, and it's just so deliciously spicy. Next, we have the Yog Nog Delights. So these are almost like Turkish Delight foamy kind of body washes. I'm really sad that they didn't have more Yog Nog scented stuff. And this is what I'm saying. I wish they would wrap some of their stuff more in things like this so that they don't get sticky and messy like the Golden Wonder soap is a bit sticky and messy. Mm. So that smells absolutely amazing. Next we have Moon Bath Bomb, which is a delicious citrusy smell. It kind of reminds me of the Avo Bath. Next, oh, we have Christmas Buddies which is fantastic because in here is the Gift Horse Bath Bomb, Magical Santa, Snow Dragon, Snowman Finger Puppet, and then it comes with stickers. So cute. So, so adorable. That sits you right there. Next is the All Things Nice, and in here is Lord of Ms. Rules Bath Bomb, Sweet Pudding Bath Bomb, and the Simmon Roll. I mean, just look how cute that is, but sadly that is kind of leaking bath bomb dust everywhere too. And then this was one that I was so sad that I missed last year because I get one every year and it is the night before Christmas and in here is Shoot for the Stars and Twilight Bath Bomb every year. I absolutely love this gift set so, so much. And if you love Lush as much as me, you definitely should go check out my Lush giveaway I'm having right now. You just comment on this one and go check out my other video. Information will be down below. But, oh my gosh, that is it. That is everything. So many things. So little time. Especially because the camera's about ready to die. So I'm going to finish it up quick by saying I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you would leave a comment of your favorite thing and leave a like. It really helps the algorithm. And it helps for your giveaway chances. Maybe just a little bit. But if you're interested in checking out another video, go ahead and click right here. And if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you never miss my videos ever again. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all next Lush Boxing Day or whatever video comes next. Bye! And if you ever wondered how I have to clean up this mess, let's just say bowls definitely do a trick. 
especially with Rory watching over me.